operate from pure math 3 pure senate excel a level exam exam was taken in january 2024 uh, the sketch is given here for absolute function uh, here let me read the statement the graph shown in the figure 2 has equation y equals a minus 2x minus b the absolute value of 2x minus b where a and b are positive uh, where a and b are positive constants and a is greater than b find Given your answer in the terms a and b, the coordinates of maximum point of the graph. And number two, the coordinates of the point of intersection of the graph with y axis. The coordinate number three, the coordinates of the points of intersection of the graph with x axis. First of all, for maximum point for this graph, you know the maximum value for y will be if this absolute value is equals to zero. For maximum point. 2x minus b should be equals to 0 because the minimum value for absolute function is 0. Uh, so minimum value if you subtract from a then you will get the maximum. Got it? So from here we will get the value for x. x will be equals to uh, b over 2 for sure. Implies that uh, value of y will be because this value is 0 and uh, y will be equals to a for sure. So first part answer the coordinates will be b by 2 and a this will be the answer for first part for second part the coordinates of the point of intersection of the graph with y axis with y axis you know along y axis here along this line x is 0 on this here because it is intersecting at this point so x will be 0 at that point for second part we will substitute x as 0 therefore y will be equals to substitute over there you will get the answer a minus and 0 minus b absolute value of minus b absolute value is always positive so this will be positive b and answer of y will be a minus b that's it so for second part the coordinates will be for this part coordinates will be 0 and a minus b so this will be the answer for second part now for third, the coordinates of the point of intersection of graph with x axis. Because for x axis, uh, equation of this graph is, let me write the equation that is equals to a minus absolute value of 2x minus b. Here, we have for x axis, this is the third part. Uh, y will be 0 here, because along this x axis, y is 0 here at point of intersection. So 0 will be equals to a minus absolute value of 2x minus b. You will bring this value left side. So it becomes positive 2x minus b absolute value is equals to a. And by definition of absolute value, we can write as 2x minus b is equals to plus minus a for sure. And 2x will be equals to b goes to the right side. It becomes plus minus a plus b x will be equals to uh, you can write them separately a plus b divided by 2 and minus a plus b divided by 2 so for y equals to 0 we have two coordinates of x a plus b by 2 0 so you can write here the coordinates for the third part I am writing over here one coordinate will be minus a plus b divide by 2 comma 0 and other coordinate uh, will be a plus b divide by 2 and 0 so this is the answer for the third part got it uh, you have to show this working as well uh, for third part page 24 there is a copy of figure 2 called diagram 1 on diagram 1 sketch the uh, graph for with equation y equals to x modulus minus 1 this graph is uh, for y equals to a minus modulus of 2x minus b and now we want to sketch the graph for y equals to modulus of x minus 1. Uh, let me remind you how to sketch a modulus graph uh, like graph for y equals to x modulus. This is the basic graph for modulus function. It looks like that. It is v-shaped. Got it? Now it is there is a vertical transformation minus one. The same graph will go down one unit here. That's it. So we will draw this graph here over here one unit down. So here 
and the other line goes like that. It is the V-shaped graph and it will move one unit down. So this blue line graph is the sketch for y equals to x modulus minus 1. So this is the answer for second part. For the next part, given that the graphs y equals to x power minus 1 and y equals to a minus 2x minus b, the modulus of 2x minus b intersects at x equals to minus 3 and x equals to 5. Find the value of a and value of b. This is a figure uh, and this these two graphs are intersecting as per the question. Uh, they are intersecting at this point and this point is uh, negative 3 and uh, here this is positive 5 for x. Got it? Uh, we can write the equation of this blue line because it has positive gradient so we will take the positive value of x from here. Uh, the equation of this blue line will be x minus 1 and equation of this blue line the left side will be minus x minus 1 because absolute value has two values positive positive and minus so positive value goes with this line and negative value of x goes with this line because the gradient here is negative and here gradient is positive we can convert this function as piecewise functions like that because this value is positive and negative we can write as for positive value uh, we will keep as is minus 2x minus b and uh, other value we can write as a and minus then for negative value of this function absolute function we can write like this so we will have two equations now one is this one simplify this one it is minus 2x minus 2x and a is positive and this minus and minus x plus plus a plus b so this is the one equation this has negative gradient for sure because x coefficient is negative therefore this equation has negative gradient so for this line the equation of this line will be minus 2x plus a plus b now we will simplify this one expand this bracket this minus and this minus makes it plus so this will be positive 2x and a is positive and this uh, plus and minus minus so it will be plus a minus b so this will be the equation for uh, this line the other one so we can write as 2x plus a minus b now look at the left hand side uh, these two lines the blue line and uh, the this line they are intersecting at this point so they are equal at this point at at uh, negative 3 when x equals to negative 3 x equals to minus 3 uh, these two equations are equal to x plus a minus b plus a minus b will be equals to uh, this one x minus x minus 1 minus x minus 1 you can bring minus x on the left side or better you use the value of x here so it will make uh, minus 6 2 multiple negative 3 will be in negative 6 plus a minus b and this minus x makes it plus 3 plus 3 minus 1 and a minus b will be equals to 3 minus 1 is 2 bring this minus 6 to the right side it becomes 8 so this is equation number 1 now when x equals to the other point that is 5 these two lines are intersecting at point 5 so we can write this function equals to this one minus 2x plus a plus b minus 2x plus a plus b will be equals to uh, the other line that is x minus 1 now solve for it uh, replace the value for x minus 10 plus a plus b and this will be 5 minus 1 a plus b equals to 5 minus 1 4 bring this negative 10 to the other side it becomes 40 so this is equation number 2 solving equation 1 and 2 simultaneously a minus b will be equals to 8 this is equation number 1 by adding we will get rid of b this b will cancel out because 1 is plus and minus will be cancelled out a plus b a plus a will be equals to 2a and 14 plus 8 is 22 and value of a will be equals to 11 for sure divide by 2 
value of v you can substitute this value of a in one of the equation uh, so i am putting over here in equation number 2 11 plus b will be equals to 14 and b will be equals to 3 so this is the answer for the last part of this question Thank you.